Hello everyone, today I am going to create this parametric vanity in Revit. In the upcoming videos, I will also create a sink which can be placed on top of its counter. As you can see in this video that you can change the width, height and depth of this vanity according to your design. But before we start with the tutorial, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start the tutorial. I am going to create this vanity in the generic model template file but you can also work in the furniture template file as well then go to the front elevation and start placing some reference planes according to the design of the vanity first of all I am going to add this parameter of width make it equal and then a parameter of height assign name to these uh, dimensions and make sure that these are instance parameters now in this dialog box i'm going to add a I'm going to add the height and width according to the dimensions which I want to use but you can type either type of you can type dimensions according to your design so now I'm going to start placing some more reference planes according to the internal design and the storage boxes of the vanity Also that place these dimensions and lock them so that the distance between these reference planes is always these 1 inches and 2 inches or whatever dimensions which you want to use. Now add some more reference planes. Uh, according to the number of the storage boxes within this vanity then delete this equality dimensions and create an other one like this and make it equal then again I'm going to add some more reference planes along this one uh, this one inches is basically the thickness of the sheet which I'm going to use to create this vanity so it is always a good choice that it is always a good proce process that you lock these dimensions th as you are as you are going to create a parametric family but if you uh, do not want to create a parametric one then you don't need to add these dimensions and parameters and then you don't need to lock these dimensions I think that's enough reference planes for now. Now select the extrusion command and draw a rectangle here. Lock these all of its four sides with the reference planes and then create, uh, place a rectangle here. Also lock all of these all of its four sides. These are going to be the legs of the vanity. Click OK, then go to reference level, floor plan, and in here place uh, some more reference planes and 
this is going to be the depth of the vanity make another instance parameter drag this extrusion to meet this reference plane and lock it down then go then okay you, again you need to place uh, one more reference plane at a one inches distance at here and one more reference plane of one inches at one inches from here also lock it down Now in the front elevation select void extrusion set the reference plane to this surface of extrusion and draw a profile for the void like this then click ok go to reference level floor plan drag it to meet this reference plane and lock it down now repeat this process on the other side of the leg as well select the void extrusion set the reference plane to this surface of the extrusion and draw like this again go to reference level floor plan drag this x void and meet it with this reference plane and lock it down again select extrusion in the front elevation then set the reference plane to the uh, center front back and draw the rectangle select this rect uh, rectangle in the draw box and then draw the rectangle like this and also lock all of its four sides then click ok go to reference level floor plan and drag this extrusion to meet this uh, reference plane and lock it down then go to the front elevation select void extrusion set the reference plane to the surface of the extrusion then again draw the rectangle like this and lock all of the four sides of the rectangles these are basically going to be the uh, openings of the drawers and the storage boxes of this vanity and i am going to create these voids within the previous rectangle which i have just created After uh, completely drawing this profile and locking, and once you have locked all the sides, then go to the reference level floor plan, click OK, and drag this void extrusion to meet this reference plane. Again, lock it down. So now I have created the openings. Uh, it is now time to create the uh, uh, doors or of the drawers. Uh, and the cabinet doors again select extrusion and draw the rectangles again the same process lock all of the four sides Give this profile the extrusion and value of minus one inches so that this is uh, extruded within the uh, box rectangular box now repeat this exact same process of uh, extrusion on towards the other side of the vanity as well
for now the vanity looks like this in the 3d then go to the front elevation and here i'm going to add some more reference planes according to the uh, design of the cabinet door so add, i'm going to add these reference planes at a distance of three inches from its other reference plane and then lock these dimensions as shown in the video After placing the reference planes and locking the dimensions, select void extrusion, set the reference plane to this uh, surface of extrusion and draw a rectangle, lock all of the four sides and give it an extrusion and value of 1 by 4 inches. And now repeat this uh, exact process towards the other side of the door. Set the extrusion, set the reference plane to this surface of the extrusion. Again, draw the rectangle and lock all of the four sides. Now select the sweep command and then uh, sketch path set a reference plane to this surface use the tab button on keyboard to change the selection then lock all of these four sides then go to the uh, left elevation and click on edit profile and draw the profile for the sweep as shown now repeat this exact process of the sweep command for the other side of the cabinet door It is now time to place the knobs for the drawers and the cabinet doors. Uh, so for that first I have to place some reference plane in the front elevation. I have downloaded this knob from the rabbitcity.com website which is totally free. So add some reference plane like this as shown in the video. After placing the reference planes, always make sure that you lock these dimensions after placing the after placing the dimensions, lock them because it is very important to create a parametric to, uh, to use this procedure to create a parametric family.
you cannot place these knobs in the elevation so to place them go to the uh, reference level floor plan and then place these uh, knobs using the component command and place them at its position like this these knobs have been placed at zero feet so uh, use the align command to lock them with this reference plane like this one by one and then also make sure that you click on this lock uh, so repeat this process on all of these knobs as shown Now select this knob and copy, paste it on the remaining two drawers on the left side and then on the right side as well. Then go to the reference level floor plan and align these knobs with this reference plane and lock it down. Then hide this uh, knob to reveal the other one and keep on repeating this process for all of the knobs which are available in the front elevation. also lock these knobs with this reference plane this vertical reference plane and then with this horizontal reference plane this step is very important because uh, when you change the length width and height of this um, vanity the knobs will always be placed at the center of the drawer or at, uh, at the position which you have specified I forgot to add these equal parameters for these uh, reference planes on the left and the right side so make sure you add these now in the floor plan select extrusion set the reference plane to this uh, top surface press tab button and draw a rectangle like this make sure that you lock all of the edges I am drawing the counter top for this vanity then give an extrusion and value of 1 inches click ok then select this wide sweep command and sketch path set the reference plane to the top surface of this counter top and again draw a rectangle like this lock these three sides and delete this line and click ok then go to the left elevation and click on edit profile and draw the profile for the wide sweep as shown So 
so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime in the next video i will uh, apply material to this uh, family and also i will create a sink which can be placed on top of this uh, vanity on top of its counter so i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe